Good evening. I just wanted to come in and share a power nugget with you all. Um, if you're catching me on the replay, say hello in the comments. Don't be a stranger. Let me know you popped in. I actually wanted to share this power nugget this morning. And I just got into some other things over here behind the scenes. And I didn't want to go to bed without sharing it this evening. Sometimes things are fresh um, to you and they flow <laughs> a lot better when they're still like at the top of your thoughts and at the top of the downloads that you get. So I wanna talk about flow on this particular evening. I was watching a couple of my clients um, marketing their business and sharing their brands online and I said wow especially one in particular that was really uncertain you know about her process which is you know most of us who feel like we're stuck we need a new level of clarity and I'm watching her in this particular season just flow it's coming through like running water and and I'm just so grateful about that but it made me think about what happens when you get in flow what does that look like um, and actually when you get in flow y-o-u it flows when you get in flow it flows for those of you who are coming on and you're joining a couple directives on our broadcast. I'd love for you to share with me if this is your first time watching. What type of business do you own? How do you serve in the marketplace? How does the world get to experience your greatness? Put that in the comments. What type of business do you own? Maybe what part of the country, world, or um, city or state you rock out in. Although you may be somewhat global if you're doing things online. Number two. If this isn't your first time, you already know the routine. Put hashtag Renew in the comments. Renew is the name of my consulting business, Renew Full Circle. Because we get our whole life over here, guys. And number three, everyone can do this one, even if you come back on the replay. If you came in and you got some great information or you've watched me before and you feel this training will be valuable there's a little button on the left hand side you can press it and guess what something magical happens when you press that button it allows someone else on your timeline or someone else who divinely needs to hear this message it allows them to receive it so you will have done a good deed <laughs> for today but we're talking about flow and what happens when you get in flow what what the, what does that actually look like or feel like or what is transpiring when you get in flow life has a flow life has a flow but your individual life has a flow as well did you know that so life has a flow but your individual life has a flow as well wow guys Nobody told me, nobody told me that my life, your life, uniquely had a flow. And it's not always the flow of life. What I find most oftentimes, and you guys will hear me talking about social media. I absolutely love social media. It has been a dynamic that has changed the playing field for so many entrepreneurs, right? So I absolutely love it. But it's kind of the blessing and the curse, right? Social media is kind of that blessing and that curse. Because I feel in all of the greatness of social media, it is also the space where many people lose themselves. It's also that place where we're inundated with so many ideas and so many ways to run our business, market our business, grow our business, um, so many different avenues. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Hey, Sheila girl, that we can take, right? 
when we're in this whole social media space absorbing all of the energy and all of the greatness of everyone else, right? And as we're doing that, if we're not careful, social media becomes a curse. It becomes a bigger curse than it does blessing. And what happens, most people are doing someone else's dream. I'm going to say that one more time. Most people are doing someone else's dream, someone else's vision, someone else's plan, someone else's life. And one of the ways, now listen, if we're going to keep it 100 and we're going to be honest, most of us have fallen into that trap on social media. Tap the screen, even if you come back on later. If you've ever fallen into the trap of someone else's vision, hey Frankie girl, someone else's plan, someone else's life, someone else's dream while on social media. I'm just going to raise my hand. Y'all can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm live. We are actually live, but I'm just going to raise my hand. And how you know, because sometimes you, you're not even aware that that's what has transpired, right? But what happens is you get 50,000 different ideas every time you see someone different and then you move away from what you had originally planned to do. I'm going to give you guys an example. Always throw me under the bus first, right? So I started my consulting business in 2012. It was it's called Renew Full Circle Consulting. Now, at the space that I'm operating my brand now is what it originally was designed to do. Um, God uniquely gave me that name at a time where I didn't even know the fullness of what my brand was going to do. It was created during um, one of those, because I had a few, unfortunately, um, uncertain times in my life where I came to the realization that there were some things that needed to be renewed in my life. So I began teaching things like productivity, time management, vision. Actually, guys, those are the most foundational things to creating a brand and creating the business and lifestyle that you love. And then I get on social media, <laughs> right? And as I get on social media, I knew in order for me to meet my financial and profit goals that I had in that season, I needed to pick a lane so that I could do it quicker, sooner, faster, right? So I picked a lane. It would have been, re it was a relevant lane, very relevant lane. But even within that lane, I started watching other people. You all tap the screen, be honest. If you've ever done it before, put me in the comments even if you come back on the replay. And I noticed that, now I'm a planner, so every year around August, I plan out my new year. And so I plan quarterly, monthly, you know, what I plan on doing weekly and daily, you know, kind of comes and flows as it goes. But I started noticing how the things that I had planned were shifting, right? They were shifting. And I started, I stopped even mentioning Renew Full Circle, which is the, um, what could I say, epicenter of my brand. And I just kind of got off just a little bit. And then I realized that although I was earning great revenue, my business was growing, I was transitioning from a brick and mortar service based business owner to full-time coaching and consulting. And although that was going well, right, I was out of alignment. I was out of alignment. And it started getting to the point where I didn't even really like what I was doing anymore. Is it just me? Has any Have any of you ever gotten to the point where, yeah, you know, the money is coming in, but you don't even like that thing anymore? And most of the time, it's because we're out of flow and we're out of alignment. Here's how you get in flow, though, right? Because I, I just did a 360, and I said, wait, I'm here to support women in their mindset, their personal growth, and their business building. 
and that is my centralized focus and that is my flow and that is my assignment and that is where I am in the greatest spectrum of my alignment. Let me get back to my flow. And it's been absolutely amazing. So many of you are doing things that you weren't even called or assigned to do. And if it's feeling off for you, it's because you're out of flow. You could have been like me and maybe you lost your way for a minute or you started doing this thing and it was earning revenue, but it wasn't in alignment. Uh, maybe the case for you is that you have stayed in this thing for so long, right? You've just been doing this thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? But on the inside, you know that it's time for another level. You know it's time to pivot. You know it's time for expansion. But you're just still doing the same thing over and over again. And what happens if you're not careful? Because I experienced this too, not in this realm, but in my previous business. So I've been an entrepreneur for about 28 years. Um, and prior to consulting full time, I owned a brick and mortar service based business for about 10 years. And I knew that feeling, which is why it was easier for me to shift this particular time when I needed to, because I knew that feeling of um, something doesn't feel right anymore. And I learned that the space that I was operating in, I, I didn't feel like I was growing. And then event, then next this is the next thing that happens when we don't evolve and grow or get in flow. The brook dries up. It's like you can keep doing that same thing that you've been doing over and over and over again, but no matter how much you do it, no matter how good you are at that thing, the brook begins to dry up. You've like lost grace for that particular season or space that you're currently attempting to operate in. Is it just me? So here's how you get in flow. Find your center. Find your center. Find your unique space. Find your unique rhythm. Find your unique connections. Listen, connections are huge. Many of you are out of flow because of the connections that you have. They don't have the capacity for your next level. They worked for the, the previous season, but not for this season, right? Find your unique people. One of the things I talk about all the time is your perfect people. There is a flow that begins to happen when you get in that space of alignment. When you get in flow, this is how flow feels. A problem will present itself. This is when you're in flow, right? It'll present itself one moment and the answer will come the next. There's this ease and this fluidness that occurs when you get in alignment, when you get in flow. So if we think about um, bodies of different bodies of water, right? Like rivers and streams, they don't run backwards. <laughs> so you never see a waterfall and the water is going up. It's always flowing down. You never watch water moving in a river, right? And it's going backwards. It doesn't go backwards. Rivers and streams, things that are fluid, they flow forward, right? And what happens oftentimes, why we don't step into spaces of expansion or why we don't pivot when we need to is because we're making decisions from our past. Y'all don't hear me. We're making decisions from our past, right? Because our thoughts are on um, what went wrong yesterday, who hurt us three years ago, um, that last thing that you tried that didn't work. All of those are past tense. Those things have already occurred. But when your mindset is still in that space, you make this, you make backward decisions. There's no way to progress forward with, with you thinking Hey, Sojo, about things from your past. Rivers and streams do not flow backwards. There's no flow to that. They flow forward. You get in flow 
when you stop taking shorts, Lord have mercy, I'm going to say that one more time. You get in flow. I see you, Sojo. When you stop taking shorts. Now, this is the, the other end of that spectrum, right? Because there's always one. You get in flow when you stop giving shorts. When you stop giving shorts. What I mean by that is, whatever you set your hands to do, you decide to do it to the full. You decide to do it with a spirit of excellence. You decide to become the best, the expert, all of the things, right? When you are not in that space of flow, you will give shorts. You have to it. You'll not do it. You not only take shorts and see whenever we are shorting ourselves in life, we take shorts from other people more easily. Y'all don't hear me. Whenever we are um, taking shorts ourselves in life, we take shorts from other people more easily. This is what I mean by this. When you begin to operate, when you really get in flow and you begin to operate at the highest version of yourself, your expectations then change. When I think about times and situations in my life where I settled, it's because I was actually shorting myself. And this is what happens mentally and emotionally with us when we're shorting ourselves, right? We really, whether we think about it or not, regardless of what we say, we really don't feel like we deserve it, so we take shorts. We take shorts in our pricing, we take shorts in the opportunities that we take. Listen, so in order to get, when you get in flow, and you guys, if this is good to you, share this out, please. When you get in flow, you stop taking shorts. When you get in flow, you stop giving shorts not only to other people but also to yourself you move from mediocre to mastery yeah i don't hear me you move from medio you move from mediocrity to mas mastery when you get in flow this is what occurs there is a con now, this is huge. This is the download that I got earlier, guys. Because you know we're talking about rivers and streams and water, right? And how it flows. When you're in flow, there is a constant cleansing and renewing that's transpiring in your life. Woo! Listen. When you are in flow, there is a constant cleansing and renewing transpiring in your life. Listen, bring me your mind. We're thinking about water, right? And how it flows. And when you're in flow, there's a constant cleansing going on. And every time we're cleansed out from what's toxic, what's not working, what's out of alignment, we are now have the capacity to receive something at the next level. So when you're in flow, there's a constant cleansing and renewing that's transpiring. Now, this is huge. We all know the substance of a rock and how hard it is, right? This is how powerful flow and water or um, fluidness is. Even a rock over time will change its shape. Listen, I need you guys to bring me your mind. If you're listening, I know that this registers to you, right? Even a rock will change its shape if water runs over it over and over and over and over again. This is how rocks in the ocean and near the sea end up changing and morphing into something else because it's constantly being swept over by water. Lord have mercy. The flow of it changes its dimensions. It changes its shape. The flow of it. Man, when I got this one right here... <laughs> This was so good. There was no way. I, I got it this morning, right? Watching a few of my clients and just, you know, watching how they are in flow and just really thanking God. It's an amazing feeling, guys. If you are a giver, 
um, like I am, when you see other people, you know, really operating at the highest version of themselves, and it looks like they're doing a lot of hard work to other people, but you know that they're doing it with ease, and you know why? Because they are in flow right? Because they found their center. It's gotten to the space where it feels natural because they are in alignment, right? So I wanted to like talk about it this morning, but I got into some other things, took my daughter out, did some things, and I just said, I can't rest and wait until tomorrow because I need this to still be fresh as I'm sharing it, right? What does it look like when you get in flow? It flows, what does it look like when you get in flow? It flows. Right? So, remember I shared the, um, I gave you the picture of a rock changing its shape with a constant flow, because of the constant flow of water, right? So when you get in flow, your shape changes too. And many of you are... Um, you've created these walls and these boundaries that won't allow you to get in flow. It feels different. It's uncomfortable. Um, you know, people are may maybe are saying that you've changed, right? But when you get in flow, there is going to be changes and they'll be somewhat constant. <laughs> they'll be somewhat constant. So let's think about water. It does not stop flowing because there is a rock in its path. Y'all got to bring me your mind for this one, right? Water does not stop flowing because it's a rock in its path. It flows over the rock. And this is what happens for you when you get in flow and there's a seemingly obstacle, Lord have mercy, in your path. Because you are in flow, this is so good to me. I hope this is good to you guys. Wow. You don't stop flowing. You flow over it. You do not stop flowing. You flow over it. Just like water, it doesn't stop because there is a pipeline ahead, right? So imagine a body of water and then there's this pipe in the middle of it. The water doesn't stop because the pipe is there. It goes through the pipe. Lord have mercy. And sometimes there is this structure in our life that may take on or morph the shape of a pipe because we're supposed to go through it as if it's an incubator, as if it's a covering. Y'all don't hear me right? In order for us to become and evolve into another shape at the end of that pipe-like structure, this may mean that you change what you listen to, right? Because when you're in that pipe, you, just, you can't even hear all the things. You only hear the other things that are also flowing, Lord, this is so good, through that same pipeline, right? So water doesn't stop when there is a structure like a, a pipe, it flows through it. It has fluidity. Listen, most don't flow because flow often requires change. We're thinking about water here, right? It requires a change in direction, a change in perspective, a change in insight, a change in capacity. So imagine a big body of water and then the pipe is here. The capacity has to change in order for the water, let's say you're the water, right? Because you're flowing to fit through the pipe. There has to be change. Now this is the next thing about flow as it relates to water and referencing yourself and your journey as the water. When we think about water, water can do many things. Lord have mercy. And we, we can learn huge lessons from water. Water can freeze. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Water can evaporate. Or water can remain liquid. 
what circumstance, what opportunity, what situation has come before you that you were unwilling to freeze? Sometimes you have to stop for a moment, right? Figure that thing out differently. You weren't willing to evaporate, to rid yourself of that thing, to move away from that, to be present but not present. Or what situation were you not willing to remain fluid, like liquid, in order, listen, Sojo, in order to flow? So here's the definition of fluid. Fluid, this is good, guys. Fluid has no fixed shape, listen, and it yields easily to external pressure. This is the definition for fluid. Are you fluid? Has no fixed shape and it yields easily to external pressure. Now, no fixed shape doesn't mean that you don't have an identity and you're changing for everybody and everything and every moment and every situation. But what it means is when it's time and when it's in the path, the progressive path that you're moving on, that you need to change shapes, you're able to do that right? You're able to yield easily to external pressure. I don't mean yield as in bow down, but yield as in transform, like transformation, like changing shapes, like water can either evaporate, freeze, or remain liquid. So fluid definition again has no fixed shape. And what happens for most entrepreneurs, women in business, we keep getting this thing on the inside of us that's saying, it's time to do it different. It's time to do something different. You need to do something else, right? But we'll stay and remain in the same position because of tradition. So maybe you're in a particular industry and you say, well, this is normally what people do next at this stage. But I've learned that when you're in alignment and you're listening to the ear of God, oftentimes you're going to have to be fluid. You're, you're going to change roles several times, several times. And the resistance, remember I shared earlier, the resistance will cause the brook to dry up. The resistance will cause the grace that was on you for that season to be removed. I just thought about um, Joseph. In the Bible. How many times did Joseph have to remain fluid? My goodness. From Potiphar's house, you no, know, from um, a shepherd boy to being sold into slavery by, by his brothers to um, Potiphar's house to prison to the palace. How many times? Imagine if Joseph just said, I'm just a shepherd boy. This is how I started out, and this is how I'm going to hold out. Imagine if Joseph, who had a dream and a vision, he saw it, he felt it, he understood it. Nobody around him understood it. Imagine if Joseph had said, I'm just a shepherd boy, so I'm just going to stay out here tending these sheep. Y'all don't hear me. But each and every situation or opportunity he was faced with, and I believe that he was hearing clearly from God and he knew that just in, this is what I need to do in this moment. There's a skill set that I'll learn here at this next level. I'm okay with growing. I'm okay with evolving. This is actually going to work for my good. I don't have to remain the same. Wow. Imagine if Joseph remained a shepherd boy although he had a vision a dream on the inside of him and of course joseph had no idea what all the in between was i mean if he knew he had to go through half of the stuff that he went through if he knew that in advance he probably wouldn't have continued to move but because he was connected to the vision he was connected to the end goal. He kept the end in mind. He remained fluid because how you do it may change during the process. It may not look like what you thought it would be during 
the process. When you get in flow, you stop putting things off. This is what happens when you get in flow. You stop second guessing. You put work to your faith. You operate at your full capacity for the level you're on now. But check this out. Not only do you operate at your full capacity, but you also receive at your full capacity. This is what happens when you're in flow. I'm reminded of just a, a, a couple of scriptures. One being, as a man thinks, so is he. As a man thinks, so is he. All of it is aligned, flow is aligned with your thinking, right? So when you're putting things off, you're not in flow. Your mindset is not in alignment with your next. When you're second guessing, all of this is stuff that's going on in our mind, in our head. That is the thing that actually sets us outside of flow. It's our thinking. It's our thinking. When you get in flow, it's when you have a clear and a rational mind. It's when you may face that rock in the water, in the path. It's when you may face that pipe, you know, in the path of your flow or your journey that you're in a space of peace during the process of either flowing over the rock or flowing through the tunnel, the pipe. I've been sharing with you guys that you need peace to prosper because you need peace to prosper. There's a level of entrepreneurship that goes beyond the hustle. It goes beyond the grind. Actually, peace of mind is going to be one of the principal spaces, head spaces you need to stay in in order to even hear your next move. In order to even hear your next move, you need peace to prosper. When you are not in alignment, most oftentimes, when you're not, when it's not flowing, it's because you're being a double-minded man. I'm going to say that one more time. When you're not in flow and alignment, it's because you're being a double-minded man. You're saying, I really want this next thing that I've seen that was in my heart. I really want that thing. But I don't feel like doing that. I got to do that in order to get to that. That's double-minded, right? I really believe this thing can happen for me. And then you turn right back around and say, I, I don't know if, if I can do that. I, I don't know if that's possible for me. Double-minded man. Listen, it's when this, this is, you can't be in flow and have a double mind. In order for you to get in flow, you have to have one mind. I'm going to say that one more time. In order to get in flow, you have to have one mind. There cannot be this battle, this thing going on on one side and then something opposite on the other. Hey, Daryl, how are you? It will cancel out the dream, the vision, and definitely the momentum and the actions needed to make it happen. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. It means today you'll be all in to your goal, and tomorrow you won't. And one of the reasons why this happens and one of the reasons why it feels so so hard is because you're not in flow. I share with you guys how um, the name of my consulting business is RenewFullCircle.com. I named that in 2012. For about four to for about four years, I wasn't even talking about the name of my business. I had kind of, you know, veered off 
in another direction. And I share with you all that social media is one of the best things that happened to me, but it's also a blessing and a curse, especially if you're not in flow, especially if you're uncertain about your path, if you can't clearly detect that voice within, right? That's telling you to veer left when the entire world is going right. Normally, that's what that voice says on the inside. Because what you're assigned to do what you what your next is it's not attached to someone else listen remember i don't know for those of you who are just joining one of the things i shared in the beginning is that most people are doing someone else's dream this is why people aren't in flow most people are doing someone else's vision most people are doing someone else's plan most people are doing someone else's life and this is why it's so difficult to get in flow. When you get in flow, you find your center, you find your unique space, you find your rhythm, you find your connections. There are unique divine connections that are assigned to your assignment. They're assigned to your next, right? You find your unique people. I talk about perfect people all the time. It matters, guys, in every area of your life. But you're going to need peace to prosper. You're going to need peace to prosper. And you're going to have to have one mind. I took um, my guest who joined me in my Master Life class last night. It was called Mental Detox. I took them through a process of getting in the space of one mind. I took them through the process of getting clear, you know, making decisions. Listen, it's hard to make decisions when you're operating as a double-minded man. One minute you will, the next minute you won't. This minute I want it, next minute I don't. Double-minded man. So I walk them through strategies that allow them to um, align with the one mind that they needed in order to make it happen. We did that master class on last night. It was absolutely amazing. I've decided to offer the replay to the public. So for those of you who were unable to make it, you can purchase uh, the replay at the same cost um, for the next 48 hours. So I'm going to leave it at that price for the next 48 hours. It's at the same link that the Master Life class was, uh, renewfullcircle.com slash um, mental detox. <laughs> renewfullcircle.com slash mental detox. I gave some amazing nuggets that will help you get into a one mind space. When your mind is all over the place, there is no peace and you need peace in order to prosper. And in this unique time in our world where we're inundated with so many different things and so many different decisions, it's important that you can get into a space of one mind. Because that space of one mind is where you're going to get your next level of clarity. It's where you're going to hear God clearly. It's when you're going to um, see the teacher. It'll be the space where the student is ready and the teacher appears. Remember I said when you're in flow, you'll have a problem in one minute. And then the very next moment, the answer will be right there. That's how flow works. It just kind of flows. It's like you'll see the problem and you'll be like, oh, okay. I'll deal with that. And then when you turn around, you're like, oh, there's the answer. That's what flow feels like. Flow also feels like for as hard as it's been for you to go live or market or do other things in your business, those things become easy, right? It, this is so funny because I, I'm doing a broadcast on tomorrow on my business page, 9.30 p.m. And I, I've made, I, I wanna talk about some of the things that have transpired for me during this month of productive rest. So I'll talk about what productive rest is and just a few things that um, happened for me on that particular broadcast. And I was like, well, maybe I should save, you know, some of this flow, you know, for the broadcast on tomorrow. But listen, when you're in flow, even creating content just flows. It just comes. Every, I mean, you're, it, it just, all of it just comes. And when you are in flow, you understand that you're living in a space of abundance in every area of your life. That means your business as well. That means you're, you're never going to run out of creativity or ideas when you're in flow. 
You never run out. They are, um, there's an infinite number of ideas and content and things to share with your audience on social media when you're in flow. It just happens. You're, you're not in lack in any area. So for those of you who were unable to join us live, you can purchase the replay. I'm going to put the, um, the link to that. If it lets me, am I doing something wrong? Oh, okay, there's a comment thing. I'm going to put the link to that in the comments. You guys um, can get that at the same cost. 47 bucks is what it was um, for the next 48 hours. Um, and that price will increase in 48 hours. But for now, it's up. You guys can grab it, download it for lifetime. I actually bonused my ASAP method that I teach, and um, I walked a few clients. You'll get to hear that. Um, those who were bold enough to put their stuff out there um, in the replay, I actually walked them through it and then gave some other examples. That was a bonus to the actual uh, class. And so um, it's good. You guys will be able to put that ASAP method on any situation. There's nothing you can't tell me that you can't put that ASAP method on. It's powerful. So for those of you who want to grab it, you want to step into a space of one mind. You know you've been operating with double-mindedness. And in this season, you just need a shift. You need a mental detox to get clear so you can get that one mind that's needed for you to operate in flow. Um, I invite you to get your copy. It's... Um, you can download it to your PC and listen to it whenever you need to. Um, and I also suggest that when you do purchase, that you find a quiet time to be able to really listen to it, really take it in, and then really apply it, right? Because we listen to stuff all the time, right? We listen to stuff all the time. So when you purchase the replay, make sure you, you designate a time that you're actually going to listen to it. It's about an hour and 40 minutes maybe. Um, but designate a specific time to, to listen to that. Don't let it be one of those things that you purchase and you download and you never really get to it. This one here is, um, is one that you wanna just say, okay, you know what? On Saturday or whatever your day is, I'm, this is what I'm gonna do for an hour or so. It's going to bless you. It's going to help you get clarity um, hey, Letitia Moore, how are you, dear? And step into a, a space of oneness and peace, which is what you need to prosper. But um, what does it look like when you're in flow? For those of you who are just uh, logging on, you can go back after this particular broadcast ends and listen to it from the beginning. I appreciate you all so much for um, giving me your time. Time is valuable, right? We could be doing anything. So I never take for granted for those of you who come in live, those of you who watch the replay, I would love it if you let me know that you, you came on. That would be absolutely amazing for me if you are a replay viewer. You guys have a super amazing evening. But when you get in flow, it flows. When you get in flow, it flows. You guys have a good one.